If you want cinematic footage, you have to film into the dark side of your subject or the object that you're filming. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about it. So I recently filmed this restaurant commercial for a place called Salute Cafe and Bar. And there's a lot of things we could discuss about this commercial, like the pre-production and how we planned it. But the one thing I really want to talk about is how I lit this commercial and that it's not that complicated and I think that you could do it too. And it all comes down to filming into the dark side of your subject. So whether you're filming a person, a building, food, it doesn't matter, you're filming into the dark side. Now there's different degrees of that dark side, how moody you want it to get, but essentially you're trying to keep the light somewhat behind the subject that you're filming. So it could be slightly to the side of the subject, it could be a little bit overhead on the subject, or it could be dramatically right behind the subject, creating a real silhouette. The important part is you're trying to film into the dark side of your subject. You only knew the power of the dark side. So let's watch the commercial together and we can start and stop and I can give you notes as we go along. Okay, let's just stop for a sec, let's rewind. So right off the top here, you can see with this opening shot, we have our key light, which is the window with the sun shining in, that's backlighting everything, and then we have some practical lights on so we can see more of the bar. But there's really not much going on here, and I didn't use any of my own lights for this shot. I'm shooting into the dark side. Okay, let's keep watching. <laughs> There we go. Again, with this bartender making this cocktail, we have a soft box that I brought in that was just over to the left side of his face, acting like one of those lamps we saw over the bar in the first shot. And that's all it took was a small soft box, a 250 with a soft box on it. And we have a candle lit there and an Aperture MC blue light backlighting him. But that was it. And you can see here that the light isn't so dramatic. It's shining on the left side of his face on an angle, but you can still sh see the shadow on the right side of his face. So we're filming into the dark side again. Let's keep watching. For this, we had a light in the far corner of the kitchen acting like a key light or a window. And then we put an overhead, the 250 with the softbox, right over where he was cooking. So we had all of this depth from the key light in the far corner and the soft box at the top, just filling in a little bit of the shadows. But you can see here, we're only shooting into the dark side. Okay, so now we got this shot of presenting the food. We have a bunch of practical lights in the background, creating depth and atmosphere. And then we have a soft box over top of the food, creating a nice kind of skylight look for the food. And we can see all the colors of the food and the grill marks and it just looks beautifully lit. It's nice and soft. It's really beautiful. And it didn't take much. All I did was throw the soft box over, head, turned off all the other lights in the room, used some of the practicals in the background, and it just looks great. And then for this final shot, it's just the window again, backlighting the bar with some practical lights on in the bar. So, I mean, it looks great. Super happy with that. Let's, let's just go back a little bit here and we'll watch it and we'll just say out loud, backlit. Backlit. Side lit. Look at that, even on that croissant, look at, we're shooting into the dark side. If you look at that croissant, you can see there's all that shadow in front. So if your shadow's in front of your subject, you're on the right track. Look at the bowls underneath here. All of these nice shadows creating depth. On his face here, we got shadow on the left, light on the right. There we go, even on those leaves, look at that. Shadow, light. There we go, even on that spinach, uh, spinach lump. Got shadow in the front, light on the back. Look at that. Shadow on the left, light on the right. Shadow on the 
Shadow in the front, light on the back. Shadow in the front, light in the back. So the obvious takeaway here is make sure when you're filming that you have shadow in the front and light in the back. And even right now, the way I'm lit right now, I have one softbox up here on my right side, which is your left looking at me. And I have shadow over here and light over here. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Leave a comment. I love getting back to you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Whew.